Hey Jen, hey Chris. Uh, it's been a month since you've seen me, so I guess I need to update. Anyway, Chris, I was actually going to make a video today. Well, yesterday, but then a lot of stuff came up. Um, because I had promised you before that I would make a video. And I don't know if you girls know this, but my star necklace has been missing for a couple months. And um, Saturday morning, I woke up and... Okay, first off, I got about three hours of sleep over a span of five hours. It was in about 20 minute bursts for the most part. And that was not fun. But I woke up and I was really, really awake. And um, I actually woke up at 5.40 when I was supposed to. When normally I give myself a lot of time to sleep in. And then get up and get ready for work and get out the door because I'm usually running late at that point. But I was on time. So I had time to get up and make some hot chocolates. Which was fantastic. I tried making um, French toast. to Well, Jenny Craig French toast. But I had gotten it damaged, and then we had opened the packages too, like more so, because my mom wanted the fruit cups out of there, and I don't eat berries, so I gave them to her, and then it got all gross in my freezer. So that didn't work out, but the hot chocolate did. Anyway, I went downstairs to get my rings, and my watch and everything, and I look over at the um, cabinets under the window, and I see this like silver thing there. I'm like, there's no way that's my necklace. Because I swear, it was not there the night before because I see that table every day and it was not there. And I look at it, I'm like, what are the chances? And I walk over there and it's my necklace. And nobody knows how it got there or why it went missing in the first place. Well, actually, I blame one of my sisters for that one because they cleaned and couldn't find it. So, my necklace, it's back, like, mysteriously, and I'm very happy about that, and I took that as a sign to make a video. And then midterms. I had two midterms today. One of them went pretty good. You know, alright, my theology one. And then my comms one went fantastically. It was a really good day because I got out of my theology midterm early, and then, like, right then, Emily called me. And she had forgotten I was in class, but it was good timing. It just happened to work out that way. And she's like, Jez, do you want to come study for the comms midterm? I'm really freaked out. It's her first midterm ever. Her high school did not have midterms. And she's a freshman, so I'm like, yeah, I'm, I'll meet you over there. And we go to the cafeteria, and it's stuffed shells day, which is my favorite thing to eat on campus. And I barely eat in the cafeteria anymore because I'm so busy that I have to take my lunch to go, which we have great to-go lunches, by the way. And I go eat in the mole hole. And so I ate in the cafeteria today. And I had all this extra time. I ate my favorite food and I had time to study. And then we go to class and we rocked it. I don't know what grade I got, but I'm confident that I got an A. She had to have gotten an A. We both finished very early. And it was fantastic. And I loved it. So there's that. Um, yeah, I have one more midterm tomorrow. And then that's about it. It's my other classes don't have midterms. I just have like regular tests and whatever. Chris, I have something to show you. As you know, I went and I saw Liva Bray, who was very cool. I liked her. This is your book. It says, to Chris, sorry to have missed you. Next time, rock on, Liva Bray. And it's in a heart, and it's got flowers, and it's so cute. And she was so nice. See, I'm in custom too. You had your awesome steampunk hat, which was so cool, by the way. I'm very jealous. Did you make that? You probably did. Anyway, uh, it's almost Halloween, and today I went out with my little brother, and we found our costumes. And you guys already know what I'm going to be, but I'm going to tell you guys anyway for any viewers who don't. I'm going to be the Whisk Pirates, which is a story I've been writing on LiveJournal for a couple years, and I really need to update it, and I think I'm going to do that tonight if I can. Hopefully. I'm going to go watch the proposal with my mom, but I might be able to write it in between that. And... Um, I had a harder time finding a costume, but then Nick and I went to Goodwill, and we had amazing luck, basically, and it was really cheap. Okay, this is me, in my awesome costume, and this actually did not fit me originally, and it had like a top of a, top of a shirt, not even a whole shirt, and it would button so you wouldn't see the rest, and that didn't fit me. It was too small for me, can you imagine that? It's too small. And then, 
So I cut it, so I was going to cut it out, and then I thought it looked fine like this. And I also have a hat, which I should have tried on better with a mirror, because it's like way too big for me, I think. That's not too big. It's pretty big. And then I have the world's coolest coat. So I also have this coat, which is just oh, it's so perfect. And I love it. And if this whole, you know, writer thing doesn't work out, I think I'm going to travel to the future and become a brown coat. Yeah. Or I could do that for Halloween. I mean, if I could just get, like, a couple guns and a sling for them, I could totally be Zoe. I have these fantastic boots, which are so beat up, so I haven't been able to wear them for anything else. I'm glad I can wear them for Halloween because I love those boots. Ooh. Oh, I have this awesome medallion, too. I love it. Uh, if y'all are dressing up, you should show me your costumes. Yeah. That's all I have to say. So I will see you ladies later. Goodbye.